Go over there. Yep. Yep, there is. Holy shit. Guys, welcome back to the channel, doing another Sam McColby reaction. And I do want to make a quick apology before we get started with this video. On my last video I posted, I kept bending my arm and moving it uh, back and forth. And the reason why, this arm specifically, and the reason why I'm doing that is because if you don't know, and if you haven't been up to date with the channel, I have nerve damage in my elbow, and I have to go get surgery for that in August. So I've been kind of trying to deal with the awkwardness and the pain of my elbow that shoots throughout my my arm and i will move my arm occasionally and i do apologize if that bothers you i do apologize if that, if that annoys you in any way i i don't mean for it to it's just I, there's no other way of me to like kind of cope with it besides moving it every once in a while or like trying to bend it forward to kind of give it a break because some of these videos are long and when i'm just sitting here with the, my arm my arm on the uh, armrest of my chair it just it kind of gets to me a little bit also, I would like to say that I did get a new uh, vintage toy that is in the background right now. And if you can click on your screen where you think it is, well, don't click because that's going to pause the video. But if you can go over and point to where you think that toy is, please do so. You guessed it. It's that uh, Ronald McDonald back there. If you look by the Chuckies, you'll see a Ronald McDonald by the Haunted Mask. I just got that today, and I was, like, really excited. I, I love vintage toys. I love early-day Ronald McDonald. I love Ronald McDonald from, like, the 90s and 2000s, early 2000s. So I, I, I saw it, and I was like, that's definitely a grab. And it's a 1978 plush, and I was like, damn, and it's a pretty good condition, too. It does look like its eyes are, like, completely black, so it does look like it's kind of staring into your soul, but... I, I overall love it. I, I think it's fantastic. So if it moves at any point in this video, uh, let me know. I'm not sure if it's going to move or not, but if you see it, like, I don't know, look over at me. Now I have my eyes fixated on it, but if it looks over at me at any point, you know, de definitely tell me. And if you guys want to send me anything for my birthday, please go on down to the information, the description, the information, the description of the video. You'll see my P.O. Box information. Several of you guys have already sent me some things. If you guys want to send me anything for my birthday, which is in a, like about a week away, July 2nd is my birthday. I will be going live and doing a live birthday unboxing. I will be going live for about an hour and a half to two hours on that day. So if you guys want to catch me on that day and say happy birthday or whatever you want to do, I will be live that day so you guys can talk to me. And we can have conversations about horror films, uh, older birthdays, paranormal experiences, things like that. Whatever you guys want to talk about, we will talk about it. So, um, And also, I would like to go ahead and tell you that I was sent a copy of The Query on Xbox One. So once that gets here, I will absolutely be doing gameplay videos for that game. So I, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, are you going to play The Query? And I'm like, I really want to. I already was aware of someone ordering it for me. So when it gets here, I will absolutely do some gameplay videos, and we can have a lot of fun playing that, and uh, yeah, I, I, I can't wait for that either. And again, if you guys really want to support this channel, because again, we don't make money doing these Sam and Colby reactions. We, don't do, we get the views, but we don't make the money. So if you guys really want to support us on another level, head on over to our Patreon page, link in the description. You get a lot of exclusive content. I might even here soon be doing early access Sam and Colby videos, or like maybe early access for like... Uh, Amanda and um oh god what's what's the other girl's name sorry I, uh I forget the other girl's name my apologies but um uh, all these paranormal investigation videos you might start seeing early access that's what I should have said all these paranormal investigation videos you might start seeing early access to and I might even soon restart uh what uh watching um ghost adventures so if you like ghost adventures with Zach Bagans I might start posting that stuff to Patreon too so if you guys are interested in that at some point in the future you might start seeing that stuff uh hitting up on that Patreon page so anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this. This is a very short Sam McColby video, which I was surprised. It was like 40 minutes long, and I'm like, that's like the first time I think I've ever watched a Sam McColby paranormal investigation video that wasn't almost like, you know, not an hour long. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and dive into this. I'm curious to see what the guys uh, discover, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, watch uh, the new episode of Sam McColby Season 2. Oh, cool, he's in this one. Nate... Victoria Black Swan in. Oh! 
Three witches, 13. Witchcraft for all intents. Do you guys hear those cocks? There's cocks all over the place. There's about to be. There's about to be? What? I just want to You're fucked. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Sam and Colby. Today, we are here with Nate Tad at Victoria's Black Swan Inn. Now, this I've never heard of this place, to my knowledge. Of history, starting I might have. Back thousands of years ago yes. at a indigenous burial ground right underneath us. Oh Been through war, really mysterious suicides. Let's get inside. Dude, you can already smell it. Like, it smells. I was, um. Whoa. Oh, my God. I don't necessarily know a lot about this place, so this is kind of interesting and fun to me. I love learning about places I've never been to or have heard of. So I might have. I don't know. I, I, I'll definitely have to see more. But those trees look like, you know, definitely those kind of hanging trees where, you you know, you hear stories about a guy hanging himself on a branch. That's what those kind of trees surrounding the area look like. But anyways. God, this place is beautiful. Dead rose petals or something? That's crazy. Oh, my God. And the spider webs. Bro. That just looks scary. Dude. That's cool, though. Just wait until we tell you the stories from this place. What the? Do you think that's real, dude? dude. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss, Nate. Give him a kiss, Nate. Oh my god! Guys, do you feel I don't know so if that was real, weird? but no, damn, was that. I was just about to mention that. There is absolutely no breeze in here. So that means if anything moves or creaks, it's definitely not the AC. This is like a full on mansion. Another rose. In a crystal ball? No, I scratch my neck. Because I didn't touch anything, but my neck feels oh, like. Wait, actually, you definitely have some red marks on your neck. I did not touch it. I made a mental note not to until you guys finished talking, but it feels like something grabbed my throat walking through Did you not... have a sh bad shaving sesh this morning? Oh my god, that's Wait! Possibly, because it. Is this the, oh my god, okay, we'll get to this in a second, but is this the closet? This, this is the closet! Dude, this really? is the psychomantium. Yes! Because you sit right here, there's a mirror on the Okay, I, it's, I don't think I've heard right of this place. This is terrifying. I didn't realize it was going to be on the first floor. This is like one of the more haunted spots ever, and they think that this closet right here is a portal. What? That is so scary. We have a to. A portal! That's literally like a three foot tall dog. To hell. Sure she runs. I've already noticed something very different with this video. I don't know if anybody, uh, any of you guys have actually noticed that how choppy the editing is. Like, we are literally going from thing to thing to thing to thing to thing. Like, bam, 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 bam. Like, bullet pointing everything. Not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying it's kind of different. I don't think, to my knowledge, I've ever seen a Sam McColby video this, like, choppy and bulletproofy. Bulletproofy. Oh. Bullet pointing. Like, the bullet points. Oh, Turn God. Here at night. Tee -hee all over the place. <laughs> Do you think she's dating Chucky? Oh, dude, Chucky's got some side hoes. <laughs> Alright guys, so there is tons of history about this place, so in order to get a better understanding, we are going to be talking to Chucky. I am genuinely- These guys are normally pretty humorous. I'm genuinely surprised, like, almost after everything they've said so far in this video, they're trying to, like, sound funny or, like, screech, like, really, like, loudly or- do weird things like that. I, they're in a good mood this video, I have to say. Often. Hi, I'm Steven Garza Guzman. I'm Fred Garza Guzman. And we're the Curious Twins Paranormal. We're at the Walls and Creek. I've heard the of them. I've heard of them. Set with the Salado Creek. The Salado Creek is, of course, what we know as the Battle of Salado, and those were two of the battles that happened here. But this ground right here was the epicenter of a war. It started as a spiritual place, like a place of okay. reconciliation between the living and the dead. When war breaks out, suddenly it's like torn. The battle that was fought literally beneath our feet right now changed the course of American history. When the Mexican army came in, they had 1,600 troops that were able to take over San Antonio. However, 220 Texans were able to out smart their entire army and defeat them basically they funneled them into oh. like this geographically tight area ambushed them and ended up killing tons of them whereas only one texan was killed and the only reason that texan was killed was because he was an animal lover and was trying to go retrieve his horse so he could have survived as well and that texan soldier is named stephen jet he actually died right in these woods right along Aww. after the battle was that is such a fucking heartbreaking sad story man Literally, the man went back to save his horse and got killed in the process. Like, he loved his horse so much, he didn't want to see it die. So he went back for it. Like, I don't care. Like, that fucking man's 
a legend in my eyes, in my book. Good gosh. I love that. That's a heart right there. A tree right alongside the creek came to retrieve it supposedly and Native Americans killed him. He's actually known to roam around this property. That's sad. So we might see him. When the battles happened, there was obviously lots of death here. I don't know if they would have killed the horse, but he... Sorry. Jesus, you were like... You look like a meerkat. Well, it smells like gunpowder right now. Dude, they, there have been reports. He's literally just about to say that. I was just about to say Really? Yep, there have been Do you guys not smell that right now? Wait, yeah. So the house itself sits on a, an ancient burial mound. It's probably at least five to 8,000 years old, maybe oh, older. Oh maybe my it's God. Dude, that's so much older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's, than it's, I am. It's a very, very <laughs> Way under that burial mound, you also have Edward's Aquifer beautiful you know drinking water that we still utilize to this day and what protects that water is we have limestone limestone's also thought to exacerbate paranormal right. activity yeah, yeah. wow well, this place is a fucking of a magnet so under here there's a body of life. for spirits Not only that but a limestone deposit so it's almost like you have the battery in between the so much energy here man <sighs> lots yeah. of things to charge this place here at the bottom of the hill, this is really where we have the most experiences with the shadow figures. What? Right here? We have our mound right here. This is our burial ground. This is where it began. Yeah, right where we did the thing. intro. So if you could guesstimate how many bodies are underneath us right now, what would you say? Probably at least, you know, three to five hundred. Oh my you god. Know? That's crazy to think that that's right beneath us and behind us. 115 like documented deaths, but then like hundreds that are undocumented. The so haunting. About some of the most prominent ghosts and some of the unsolved mysteries of this location. A couple by the name of Jolene Woods and Park Street. Wow, she's weird name. pretty. The two moved in to this house in 1952. Just a short seven years go by though, and then tragedy strikes. Jolene actually fell down the grand staircase over here and then supposedly passed away of breast cancer. Though the obituary is Damn. concerningly ambiguous. We don't know her cause of death. In fact, we don't even know that much about her life. One of the things that happened leading Holy up to hell. her death is that she fell down the staircase. There was actually a gentleman. Kind that of does not look like pleasant, a pleasant, a pleasant staircase. Case Junior fall down. The family, and he prescribed to her some painkillers and things to ease her after that fall. Some people think that potentially the painkillers could have been what killed her. What do you believe was the cause of death? So I've done a lot of spiritual communication with Jolene. She's very kind, very warm, treats you well. The thing about Jolene is that if you ask her very specific questions about her death, it's like she will start talking about other things, everything will change, things will shift. She doesn't talk about that. I think that maybe she was having it. And I think that perhaps maybe even Porter Loring was potentially involved in that. Somebody asked her, Jolene, Ooh. why are you stuck here? The response back was, I'm not stuck here. This is my house. Jolene is also often seen Damn. around this property. Straight up. She's known to be a dark haired, taller woman in a white gown where she starts at the top of the stairs, walks all the way down here to the gazebo out in the back. The gazebo on the outside of the house is known as one of the more haunted locations in the entire property. If you're lucky enough to see her and catch up with her, she'll just vanish as soon as she gets to the gazebo. Poof. As mysterious as Jolene's death was, it was coupled with an even more mysterious death of Park Street. So in 1960, so he killed himself. police went into Park Street's room to find him with a necktie around his neck, hung on his bed frame, and his hands were also tied behind his back. So they at first ruled it as a suicide. And that is what was on the cause of death. Wait! There are so many rumors that lead us to believe that it wasn't he could have been just murdered. suicide. Do you believe Park committed suicide or was it a murder? People were saying that maybe she was cheating on Hall Park Street Jr. People were saying that potentially she was at one point pregnant with another man's baby. Oh, there was perhaps some marital trauma going on. I think that it, it leads more towards murder. Wow. wow. I was I was gonna say his hands were tied behind his back. So did he do that himself? Like that's that's not an easy task to do that. I'm sure like at some point you probably could have. But that does sound like it could have been Poten yeah, potential murder. I would have taken it as a murder first off. I wouldn't have even said it was a possible suicide. I would have been like, someone wanted this guy dead or something. Okay. In the ghost world. <laughs> <laughs> Many 
Many people believe that Park was murdered in the south wing of the house, which was at the time also his office. And people say that that is the only dangerous and or evil part of this property. This would be the most consistently active with our- Well, whoever so killed him could be still there. It was a suicide, but there was a lot of really, really strange and peculiar things surrounding his death. The second wife yeah. made a statement to the police. She did not know he was missing until he did not come downstairs for breakfast. And that very specific language downstairs for breakfast was peculiar because they only had a one-story home. They believed that the body had been tampered with and potentially moved uh, from one location to another location. Well, okay. Potentially some foul play involved. Okay. He would have had to balance himself onto that much. You know, like, yeah, yeah. I, I just, how do you touch yeah. someone? Yeah, yeah, it seems very, very common. Hmm. And I, like, we've done tours where we've had other mediums on the tours and they don't know anything about the property. And they will come to us, like, right before we start. And they're like, who was hung on the property? Oh, wait, this is the, okay, we this saw this before. This is a psychomantium. These special little rooms were created to basically get that chance to say goodbye. What would happen is that you just have one mirror in the back, one... Did you guys just use a fucking image from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? That is a first if I've ever seen one in a paranormal investigation video. Mirror in the front, they would face each other. Usually you'd have a chair in there, have room to light a candle. You'd stare into the mirror in front of you. The mirror in back of you would be reflecting into it and it would open up supposedly a portal. What's more perfect for creating a portal or at least facilitating the opening of a portal than situating it between two mirrors where the light ricochets on and on. Oh yeah, and yeah, we have a- Those mirrored- Downstairs in the bathroom, we have a mirror that uh, the cabinet mirror where if you um you shut it or like kind of close it like this, like there's three little mirrors, and if you close it like this, all the mirrors kind of face each other. So it's like if you put your face in between them, you can see like a hundred views just go like like so many versions, like so many views, your reflection is just going in like a complete circle. It's one of the most bizarre things ever. Infinities is where all of this spiritual darkness, lightness, communication, whatever you want to call it, is facilitated. It could open up your senses, make you be more empathic mm. to whatever is on the other side. Ideas that you stare in, you hope that the spirit world shows you something, huh. speaks to you, shares with you something. This portal was created through intention. Perhaps this is related to Park Street's death, this closet itself. If you look at this door, you'll notice that it used to be a lock. People were getting locked in. We believe that those are tied in with Sophie, child spirit, very playful. Oh, um, wait, you're saying they were locked in by spirits, not yeah. by people. Oh, oh. By spirits. Where would you guys Creepy. say is the er. most haunted spot and or spots that you got like the most activity? I get the recently. most EMF activity and really decent EVPs in this room. Abigail also- Jeez, that was loud. Tends to sometimes give off decent EVPs. Wait, so that is like a haunted doll? Yeah. And the most haunted on the property? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. <laughs> The last location we'll see is one of the most negative. Is it the basement? The spirits I reside here are described as aggressive. Later tonight, we'll experience why people warned us. I like that they're going to these smaller places. I mean, I... This is the haunted barn. Okay, it's the barn. So this is a milking barn. We had everything from hearing cowbells go off, Bill breathing on our necks, to actually seeing shadow figures in here. These shadow figures ah. are, you know, often what people feel. That was a clear... Much. Yeah. There was a German immigrant and dairy farmer named Sebastian Ripstein. He built the house, built the dairy barn, set up shop. After the original residence left, it was taken over by a couple named Heinrich and Mary Mahler. So Heinrich himself haunts the dairy farm, but also their daughter Susie is known to be very active there as well. But what's weird... That's up. looks like Sally. Why uh, is it always Susie Freaked out Sally? image. Just once I want a ghost named, like... Doris. Investigators concluded that there was three very aggressive spirits that resided there, specifically aggressive towards women or protective, whatever you want to think, but they especially disliked men. Lots of shadow figures, specifically on thermal cameras. So when to do our investigation there, definitely need to take one of those. Heimrich, we believe, he was really active. Right above 100 degrees, like maybe 101, 102. I was doing an interview, we come in here, and it's like a walk-in fridge. It was totally... Wow! There was a shelf next to me, and firmly planted on the shelf is like a box it flies off the shelf oh my what? god it lands directly in front of me in this room in this room did you guys just hear that yes we're packing up to go do like our first investigation and it sounded like thunder like a, a loud like massive explosion probably the biggest explosion i've ever heard though like right there 
There it is. There it is. Just saw lightning out the door. Wait, really? Yep. So yep. Story? Yep. We gotta start the first investigation before it starts to rain. Yeah, because yeah. you just saw it, right? A storm is rolling in on our haunted mansion night. This is not good. That's good. That's good, actually. The they say that the energy of the storm, electricity of that level, actually can kind of make the energy. It could feed the spirits, like it gives them energy. So. I mean, you might even get more than what you bargained for tonight. I mean, I, like, yeah, I could tamper with the evidence a little bit with when it comes to, like, the voices, the background noises and stuff like that, granted. But when it comes to maybe, like, seeing apparitions or possibly really getting touched, I mean, this could be a good thing. So let's we'll see what happens. And they even got the, uh, the um, Estes method, so that could be really interesting. What the fuck was that? I sound like a train. A silo when it's lightning outside. I'm in a silo in a lightning storm. You're on the lookout for poison ivy, guys. What, are you a fucking boy scout? No, no, boy scout. It's the guy with the poison ivy knowledge. You hate having itchy balls, okay? This is why we got arrested first time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. I don't know if we should be doing this. I mean, this is starting to feel like it's in the realm of a crime. True. Oh damn, son, that ain't gonna be too hard to get in. That's my hero. Wait, wait, it's it's raining. Oh, big spider! Oh fuck, go back to us three. Oh, bro, now that's rain. Oh wait, it's raining. It's raining oh. bad. It's raining bad. We gotta go, Nate. Dude, it's raining like a shit. We still gotta hit to the gazebo before it ends raining. You're gonna get sick. Guys, I'm halfway up. Oh fuck, it's raining hard. We gotta go, bro. We gotta go. Get Nate. The fuck down here, Nate. Yeah, you get you get slip. Oh, there's a big spider. Oh my god, it's raining. Go, go, go. I've been there, man. Last minute run. Here we go. Come on, boys. There's wings. There's fucking footprints. Barefoot fucking footprints. That went straight into the house. Look. What the fuck? And they're not anywhere else unless I stepped on them. Let's get inside. Let's get inside. Is there any on the stairs? No. No. Right there is like the last one. This place gets flooded really quickly. Wow. Keeps up. That is crazy. This place is not only storming, but it's going to flood. Which means we could get trapped here. Holy we might actually unintentionally have to stay in overnight. Is this place trying to keep us? Yo! Oh my god, legitimately. The haunted barn. Well, it looks like any outside investigation is kind of. Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. If you don't already have it, it's a free to play mobile game available on every device. Monster Legends is all about collecting, training, and conquering with your team of monsters. And guess what, guys? We have our own monsters! Yeah! Oh, I stubbed my toe. Yes, out of over 900 monsters that you can collect, we're one of them. Josh Dub and all of them. It looks terrifying. I might keep this in there, this ad. Uh, Josh Dub and Molly and all of them got this before, way before Sam and Colby did, because they were gamers and stuff. That's like the best place to market their stuff is gaming. But uh, yeah, they had their own monsters at one point too. We're not conjoined twins. We're conjoined demons. You can even breed your monsters together and then evolve your baby monster to be the best in the game. And once you've created the best team, and you got the Sam McCoy monster, you can challenge your friends to battles, conquer trophies, win awards, and eventually take over the world. Maybe. <laughs> Speaking of rewards, if you use our link in the description or click the QR code on his face, you're gonna get a free special starter pack. You're gonna get everything you see on the screen, plus tens Sam and Colby monster cells, which is gonna help you create our monster. What are you waiting for? We want to see you guys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Monster, click the link and let's get back to the video. Pretty cool. I like that. Pretty cool. Is it just me or is there something kind of like exceptionally disturbing about this room? There's three angry spirits that hate dudes, so not good for us. So to start our investigation, we have the ovalist scans frequencies and spits out words from. <laughs> Word, word. Secondly, we have the thermal because it's known that you can see the shadow figures on thermal in this bar. Guys, that's an acronym. What do you think EMF stands for aside from electromagnetic field? 
I think it's like excited mom farts. I don't know if this was happening the other night, but this almost is saying words, but it's not speaking. Like it broke. Could it be like a battery issue? It's got most batteries still. It's got three fourths of a battery. Dude, I'm telling you, this room's free. Jails! Jails? Sally! What? Jails and Sally! Look no! I'm not making it up. The only two words that it's said so far. Holy Chills shit. And Sally. Rose. Rose is hanging from the chandelier. Yep. Rose in the glass ball. Oh, yeah. Dead Chills. Rose is up Sally. Down. What is this thing trying to tell us? Come on, give us a sign. If you don't want men to be in here, why don't you let us know? What's going to happen? If you want us to leave, move something, make a noise, or speak to us on one of these devices. Deep. Maybe Such. Maybe we're in deep. Bridge. So remember Heinrich, he had a very successful business here, so maybe he's still here. Heinrich, are you the one that's still here haunting the barn, telling men to get out? I feel pretty comfortable here. You want to tell me to get out? <gasps> oh, I thought that I saw that spike on the camera, but I think I'm just tripping. Hello, I heard that there's three angry spirits that hate men. Is that true? Position. Do you not like in this the here? Okay. Yo. Wait, did that just go off? Can you say get out? Maybe. Colby. I think it'd be really cool if we Shit. got that mirror forward. This is gonna be a dope shot. You guys got it. We decided since so much of the- Could you imagine accidentally breaking that? And oh my God. There's three of us, there's this triple-ended mirror right here. We decided we would see if it could act as sort of a trigger setup for engagement. Can you tell us your name? That was something. Did you hear Heinrich? Unintelligible. Here though. An appearance. 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 Are there three men here with me? I definitely heard Heinrich. Why do you like women here? Working for more than one day. How long were you here? Did that say Sam? That sounds like it did. Did you just say Sam? I live here. Do you remember someone was like living upstairs and like a little girl would call his name out? Oh, Don't you yes. remember that from the interview? Yes. It just said your name. How do you know my name? Have you seen Sam or Colby or I before? How long have you been here? Here! Yes, did you live here? 81. <gasps> oh, that was just yo, going... Yo, yo. Oh, your phone. Please stay. That just said, please stay. Oh, I heard that. It was a little girl's voice, too. Yeah. Radio. Radio, okay. Child. child. I just said child. Can we help you in any way? No. That sounded like so, my name. Is someone trapping you here? We can't leave. That was a little girl too. That's is too almost something? accurate. Is there some what? 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 What's going on? Do you guys not see the weird shifting lights outside? Is that the lightning? No, no, no. It's like look from that window to that window. Eyes on that one, then eyes on that one, and tell me you don't see the light shifting in a weird way. It's just the. the Wait, sh so I'm just going. It said door. Yeah, it said, door, yeah, it said something about shutting door. All in female little girl voices. Oh my! What is that squeak? That's yeah, just like that's gotta just be like a creepy or something. It's gotta be like. Would you like us to try? That's creepy, man. Try. Please try. God. So do you want us to pray? Yes. yes. I just thought of something kind of dark. That's so accurate. Holy fuck. What? <gasps> the three men's spirits here are trapping the girls and they're not letting them leave. Please stay. We need help. You that mean to tell me, so mean to tell me that we may be like busting some sort of paranormal sex ring right now? I don't know if we can cross anything over, but I mean, I just feel bad. Like, if that's true, I mean, that's just kind of what we got from the spirit box. That's really dark. Is there something darker or more evil trapping you here? Demons? Demons there is. I mean, maybe like demons in their eyes aren't actual demons. It's just like bad people, you know? Could be. That has to be the rain. Damn, well, should we try to pray at least? Maybe we look into the mirror and we'd like say something real quick. Now, we're not exactly sure how to help you, but in the Lord's name, we pray for your safety. Whoever's trapping these women in here, you need to let them Is the go. mirror moving? God, no, that's the camera. Help these girls find the other side, guide them to the light, and get these horrible people or spirits or demons, whatever they are, away from them. And if there's anything else we can do to help, please just give us a sign. Let us know how we can help. 
Amen. Dude, if that wasn't just kind of like a, us guesstimating what it said and there's actually girls in here, that's really sad. It's really sad. The worst part is it makes a lot of sense. It does. It does make a lot of sense. Investigation 2 at the gazebo. This is the place where Jolene is supposedly seen. As a reminder, people see an apparition of a She comes downstairs, yep, walks outside. Right here, and then she just vanishes. What the fuck is that? What? That like light? That glowing light over there? Huh? Do you see that? No. In the right house? there, in the house, like where my fingers at. Wait, 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 wait. Did we leave a light on in the house? No, I just saw it. No, you didn't. Out of the cor little corner of my it, eye. Or not? I was literally just wait looking. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that the office? That's the library. The <clears throat> office. The office. That's the South Wing oh, office. Right park. Are you sure? Yes, because it's on the south side. See, look. Even when my light I, off, it's not a reflection, guys. There's I would go the over there. Right now. I think I'm seeing something in the window. No, is someone for sure seeing something? There is some. There's like a figure in the window. I'm not kidding. Actually, when I'm go saying, over there. Yo, look, there's somebody in the window. Do you see that? Oh yep. Serious. Yep, there is. There. Holy shit. There's a fucking person. It's 100 percent Grab the flashlight, let's go. What the fuck is that? I own it at all time. You barely see it, but it's still lit up. It's right in this room. Oh fuck. It's on. Hello? This this light. Hello? There's in the bathroom. Nate, I know you saw it too. It looked like a taller figure. It had to be like this tall. Yeah, it's swaying like this though. Yo, it, that this. was the weird thing because I thought there was a chandelier. I can swear on my mom's life. I turned this off at the beginning of the investigation. Because you took a shit before, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I walked in here right, before, right after it rained and then we went to the barn and back there we never entered the house again. You can tell on the camera when I'm looking at you guys, I went down. That was because a flashing light just turned on. It turned on while we were in the gazebo. Guys, what the Fuck is oh, that's my light down there. There was something in the window. Dude, it was there there was something swaying tall. Not a chandelier. It was above like the lower. I trees. need to see that go again. To the bathroom. Turn it on. Go to the bathroom. There's somebody in here. Holy fuck, guys! I'm actually scared. You saw footprints. What the fuck was that? Dude, I heard a, like a hiss. In our research, where there's literally supposed to be a figure, a man that stands, and you can hear him laughing. Hey, hey, hey! You know who that is? Who? Apparently, Stephen Jett, the only Texan military man that died. You know what it looked like? Have you guys seen that Curse the Cowardly Dog episode with the guys like Return to Slay? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I think we just saw a fucking shadow figure. I don't know if they'll be able to see it because it was so this is a wide far. lens and it was very, very far away. But you can definitely see when the light turned on. We gotta check for what is footage if we can see the section of the house. Shit. We might have not filmed it, but like you can just see from our reactions. We saw a shadow figure. What? 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 Did you hear that? You didn't hear that from that corner of the room. Cool. Did Do you think you that's loud enough that? to be on the camera? Yes, a hundred percent. Right on the window, Literally. or right next to the. Don't window. say that. <laughs> Leaving the bathroom, light off. Going back to the gazebo right now. And we back. So we got two flashlights. That was creepy. Here. I got the thermal gun just in case. If it turns on again. Down this path. You know what uh, Fred said evokes Jolene's kindness. We love your home. It's one of the most beautiful properties we've ever seen. And your piano. Oh. oh my god! That worked perfectly. Yo, thank you so much, Jolene. All right, Jolene. Oh my god! Dude, as soon as you address her. Maybe she is here. Park, if you're here with us too, would you please make that red light? Come on. This can be Park's light. This can be Jolene's light. And Jolene, if he's not here with you, could you do us a favor and go grab him? Could you turn this off for us? If you can go just leave and grab him really quick and come back. Wow! Yo! Okay. Okay, and after three to four minutes of silence. That's more spooky. Yo! Oh, oh they're both back! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. they're both back! That means they're here! She literally just did what you said. I literally went and grabbed Park. Thank you, Jolene. Thank you so much. Can you? Holy shit! I thought that was like the same time, but this is still... Yeah, that's still on, but that's dimmed. Oh, oh, oh my god! Yo, what the fuck was that? The wind's not even like blowing It's not even a blow wind. Oh my god. Came all the way down here with so much power. It actually blew, it actually knocked it off. You can see it like blowing a little bit, but guys, I... Well, yeah, but... The thing is, if it if it, if it was strong enough to blow that flashlight off, it would probably be strong enough to blow the other one off. If they blew, if they both blew off, then I would have like kind of said it was probably the wind. But since it was one, 
Interesting. It's not enough to blow a metal flash. Also, no, no. Off, it would be, you know, horizontal, not vertical. Jolene Park, that was cool. Thank you so much that was for cool. Answering us already tonight. I'm glad to hear you guys are both together in the afterlife since there's so many rumors down here that that might not be the case, but <gasps> Oh my god, dude, what? There is like a full on moving flare right underneath your feet, Colby. I don't know. Anyway, Park, are there bad spirits in the office room? We heard in your office. I think that was a camera evil effect. Or malicious. Just want to confirm. Oh my god. And Jolene turned hers off too. Park, was what we saw in the window. Since that was right by your office, was that you that we saw in the window? Were you going to the bathroom? Oh! so much more sense he's in his office which is literally located in that south wing where we saw the light thank you guys both we're gonna go talk to you inside with a better method that we can get more answers thank you jolene oh, oh my god that's so perfect. they probably went back inside wow, that is have you have you guys ever seen bud abbott and luke costello the time of their lives where uh it takes place back in like the civil war days in costello and bud abbott or costello dies and so does this girl, and they're both spirits, like in modern day times. Well, modern day times, like in like the '60s, but uh, and they're ghosts, and they have to try to communicate with the living. That's what it kind of reminded me of. Now they're running back to the house. They got like, we gotta go, we gotta go talk to them. I love that movie. I've seen it so many times on VHS. If you're liking this video, please go down and actually click. I will. I like this video. I'll tell you something. This to a quarter million likes, we will do another un solved crime mystery i i like the pacing of this video so far it's a very fast paced video i think that's such a different thing i mean normally these videos they do kind of drag out a little bit they're very entertaining they're not like that's not like a bad thing they're enter entertaining as all hell you know overnight is the same way this one's been very fast paced very right to the point pretty funny i like the humor in this one uh the way they're handling it so i like it i i like this one this is a good one you're down below Subscribe as well, it's free, it makes us happy. Already I have, dude. Nate from getting eaten by an alligator tonight. Oh, wow. What? Please press the button. Now, Vicky. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the Psychomantium. It has a mirror up here. A mirror right there, and it's used for scrying, which is basically looking into a clear surface. Like, if you see, like, the... Was that a rip ass? When you see a psychic look into a crystal ball, if you look into any clear reflective surface, you might be able to see something that's not really there, especially with two mirrors pointed to each other. We tried this one time in Zach Bagan's museum, but have never really tried it with two mirrors pointed towards each other. So let's see how that goes. So it puts you into a okay. meditative state. So that meditative state is supposed to allow you to see things beyond just a human eye. It's kind of nerve wracking that it's in a closet. And that's painted could black. Would be right next to the area where Park killed himself. And it's painted all black, so it is going to be absolutely pitch black. We're gonna have one candle next to the mirrors, but everything else is gonna be shot in night vision. To enhance other senses, we are gonna put noise-canceling headphones on each person that's trying to scry. Okay, okay. It's interesting. Here we go. That's creepy, man. I'm actually so fixated on the mirror. What the fuck is that? What? Dude. Randomly. They said they get a lot of energy in this room too. Oh god, is it the doll? Holy shit. So again guys, I'm not looking at myself in the mirror right in front of me. I'm looking at my reflection of this mirror, if that makes any sense. Makes perfect my sense. Face looks like it's all one color. My nose is completely I'm looking at the mirror behind him. Mouth is completely disappeared. But where my eyes are. There's just two dark circles, like right here. Walk around the table. It's still on two. Okay, now it's off. But now it's back up. Way up there is not it. As soon as you get to like eye level, that would be literally like if you were having a fucking meal. You're seeing something. My holy shit. My eyes are doing weird, like creepy shit. It almost looks like they just got a lot larger. But if I just stare, I start to slowly sink into the shadows. It's like a movie. Yeah, that's super weird. That's like as bright and steady as I've ever seen. Maybe this was his office desk. The only room you'd come back to and spend time in is this one. The eye sockets are just 
black. I saw his hand. I thought it was something else. Yo. What's it like? Dude, you look like you're... How was that, dude? You look like you're in another world right yeah, now. Yeah, are you okay? <laughs> Holy fuck. Is it real? Is it, like, insane? Is it freaky? Dude, it's scary. I'm looking at this reflection, right? The best way I could describe it is it looks like your flesh disappears and you look at your skull. Everything turns blurry like Slenderman's face, except for two giant dark circles. Oh. And they just get bigger and then they contract. The longer I looked at it, the more my face would sink into the shadows behind me. Oh my god. Dude, all right, you were in there for a good five minutes. Let's Holy get you out there. five minutes? Five or six it minutes. It was not a minute? Holy shit. The only thing I could give advice wow. is just don't blink. Just look straight into your eyes like you're having a staring contest. That's when you start seeing. Have you ever done problems. that? I've done it before. Just okay. tell me what you see. Stare. Of yourself, so. I'll be looking for the dark star. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Exactly what Colby said. It looks like I am a skeleton. I can tell exactly what it means. What the fuck? Just the table. Do you think there's something like electrical underneath like the floorboards? Well, there must be a ground wire or something. There has to be. If there's anything out there that wants to show itself. The dust particles in there, man. I just keep thinking I see something moving. With like a receding, like a hardcore receding hairline. He just barely has any hair on the top of his head. And he looks like he's angry. He's like grimacing, but smiling. I know it's my eyes playing tricks on me. But it's so clear. Is it though? Dude, is it? You, it's like almost like a weird state of hypnosis. And you know what's really kind of scary? During this entire video, I've kind of felt like a little bit out of it and like slightly drained and just like under the weather a bit. Yeah. But then after that, I feel like a little bit more perked up. You feel heightened? Yeah. I wonder if it like peaked your adrenaline, dude. It looks like a skull. Could have been. Into an angry man over and over and over again. Damn. Sorry, guys. We'll keep ghost hunting. Whoa, I don't want to move like this. Everything about my vision is like warping. It legitimately looks like I'm looking at different people from the past. That is weird. I mean, it's definitely a different experience. Holy fuck. It's crazy, you are right? Hitting. How long do you think you were under there? Two minutes. Close to eight minutes. No fucking way, yeah. actually. Whoa! We went and walked around over there. I saw some weird shit. At first, I was almost like in shock. I saw the exact same skull as you did. But then, I think I saw someone from like a long time ago. He looked like an older man, like in his 50s or 60s. The receding hairline, he barely had any hair at the top. You know, like a widow's peak type of thing. His eyes like were, were dark and black and you could see his eyebrows like raised like he was really angry mm -hmm. and he was smiling i swear that was like the clearest i've ever seen my face morph guys if you don't believe us if you're not scared enough to do something like this turn off all the lights and look into a mirror with like dim. i have i've done stare it stare at yourself and i promise you your face is gonna start changing yeah you'll see it the bloody mary challenge right look at yourself in the mirror but focus like right here and it'll start to Yeah, part of me felt like I was literally on drugs because I saw my face like melting. I don't know if I want to do it. Get in there, Nate. All right, we'll see you in five. Nate didn't know what we had. A little surprise. Actually, gonna scare him. Guys, you guys are gonna think we're so fucked up for this. We're gonna scare Nate shitless. Throwback to our Goatman's Bridge video. We used some masks for like B roll. Best way to scare the shit out of him, you know? <laughs> He's literally in a dark room alone. He can't hear anything. Like the fog. I'm about to ruin my friendship. My eyes have become humongous. They're wells, obsidian wells. The light racing back and forth into nothing between these mirrors. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm wearing someone else's face. <laughs> this is where the subjective meets the objective here. This is terrifying. Do you want to be the sheep or do you want to be the eagle? I feel like the sheep is more my vibe. Oh my gosh, my face is just opening into an abyss. He said my face is opening into an abyss. Damn, what the fuck does that mean? Oh my gosh, when the light flickers, my whole face shudders. It's like an echo chamber of terror. What are you guys doing?
He actually believes that the door just opened by itself. Yo. Yo. No, Yo, fuck, this dude, is... I know if the camera's there, then some shit's about to be going on, and my adrenaline is high, so I don't need any of this shit right now. Dude, what the fuck? Did you just fall through? Yo, you good? Holy shit, dude. I don't know whether to be terrified or aroused. <sighs> Is that what you're expecting, really? I almost shot my heart out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Not oh, yeah, careful. Antiques. Uh, I didn't really think much of this place, but this has got to be like a nine on the scale of active. Compared to like The Conjuring or maybe Zach Bagans Museum, I would put this place probably at it like an eight or a nine, just because the flash Okay, okay. Perfect. And it was the first experience where I legitimately saw something in the window. I have that was interesting, a yeah. Figure, and I legitimately think we just saw one. I've, you know, been to a bunch of these haunted places and have never felt like that bone chilling feel. It's like you get when you're a little kid and you're running up the basement stairs. I get that when I have been alone in the Sacramentium room. Being alone and really getting into that made me excited for this last investigation. There's a lot more mystery in this tragedy than I first anticipated. There oh, is this it for season two? People that are investigating this all the time still don't know the answer so i really want to see if we can get there i just want to see if we can get something more specific we're choosing to do the ss method here and young nate volunteered as tribute thank you nate tribute it always lights up right? a lot of movie references yeah. so what are we trying to figure out who created that portal and why is it here why did they die how do they die and are they still together and friends in the afterlife as funny as that last minute prank was, I'm uh, in a place that old, man, I've seen people do stupid shit when getting really scared. I've done stupid shit when getting scared, man. I would have felt so fucking bad if my friends came at me like that and I ran into a fucking like antique cabinet and busted a lot of shit from like back in like the 70s or 60s. Like, I, you know how bad I would have felt? I would have killed my friends for one. I'd have made them pay for it, but... Ah, oh, dude, priceless artifacts. I, I, I don't know if I'd do it in a place that old. It's that small, that crammed together, you know, with all of those antiques around. I would feel so horrible. Not saying that wasn't funny, because that was a really good prank, actually. But still, you know, you got to be careful with places like that. You don't want to accidentally bust something. Because I'll tell you what, if I think I'm going to be torn apart by a fucking cult that dress like eagles and sheep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break shit to get away. I'll tell you that right now. So, yeah. This turned off. Oh, is that yellow? And now it's just barely spiking. It's like this is taking the energy now. Should we first establish if there's anybody here with us? Yeah. One. These. Jolene. Park. It's me. Both of you. Oh. Just one. Actively. Both. Both. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, that's, that's good. good. That's good. What is going on? Like both. Oh, yes. Nate is the one you're talking to. We want to respect you and your story. Would you like to talk to us about it? Sure. We understand how frustrating it can be for so many people not to know what actually went on in your life, especially when it involves your death. Energy, call one. Jolene, is it true that you died not from just breast cancer? Oh, I'm telling you, I died that in pain, aware. So it maybe wasn't the painkillers, like she was aware. Did someone kill you? Did you die from medicine? They came. Like your doctors? The agents of darkness. I, I shit you not, I'm not making that up. Very serious? I'm not making that up. Agents of darkness. I, sh I shit you not. Alright, it's making sense, keep going. Has anybody ever- <laughs> That is something I will never want to hear in my entire life. They came, the agents of darkness. Who the fuck? That sounds like they're on their way. The Nazgul, the ring wraiths. Fuck that, dude. I've never done this method with you before. Smile. I saw an old man smile back at me. That hurt someone. Oh, shit. Was it a man? What was that? That just gave me chills all over my- My body. relationship. Holy shit. Is that what killed her? Yeah, but it's like how- My life. Her? Are the same people who possibly murdered Park the people that murdered you? Did you get murdered? No. No, okay, that's what okay. I thought. I don't think she got- Killed by anybody. Okay. Park died. See if. Park. 
Holy shit! She died of a heartache? No, he died from heartache. He was so depressed after she died because she died first. So it was a suicide. He died. He died of a heartbreak, but he was with another woman. Odd. But think about what is scratching. Park. There's footsteps upstairs. I don't Bound. Know. Do you not hear this? Skeptic. Fever. So you're saying that Park was not murdered? Yes. There it is. That's the so answer. Maybe Park love sick. So what about you? If love Park sick. Was just killed by love sick, and he committed suicide. Can you give a hint? I was like, what? He's feeling something. You? Look at this. We want to clear your name. Jolene was always the one that. Do you not see Nate freaking out? She doesn't talk about that. She's always avoiding the question. Nate's questions. really so feeling anxiety. Let's talk about your murder, but do you know how this portal came to be? Never not. Never not. Meaning it was forever here. Hey, Jolene, could you tell us how many people are in this room right now with us? Seven. Her plus us plus two more. This is out of power. It yeah, was mastermind. Completely done. That's insane. That was on the entire time. It's open. So you knew about the portal during your life. Turn. It's open! This is crazy. How the fuck is this that's, like chill? That's such a telltale sign. It used all the energy here. Do you need more energy? Jolene, do you need more energy to talk to us? Dude, now she's silent. You, how much? Yes. Was... All right, let's do it before it like... Oh, okay. Back. Bro. Oh, dude. Shit. Are you good? Dude, I'm dizzy. That was fucking hard, dude. Actually? Yeah, like I actually nauseous. Holy hell. Yeah, I could tell like something was wrong with him. I think we did figure out a couple things. Jolene confirmed that Park was not murdered. He actually did die of suicide, but it was because of a broken heart. He was lovesick. What if the agents of darkness just meant his deep depression of heartbreak? What if he just wanted to make sure that he couldn't help himself because he was so heartbroken? He didn't want there to be any chance for him to be able to save himself if he started second guessing. He didn't want his human nature to kick in and try to like stop him from he actually going. He knew that he had to tie his hands up before he did. Second thing we got, definitely there is a portal and Jolene I don't know. here way before her time. I'm exhausted. I feel like I just got, like I just ran like five miles. It's gonna drain more and more energy. It's already drained four batteries of our camera tonight. I say we do one last SS method in there and we try to figure out once and for all, how did Jolene die? Was there some foul play in that and one? And how, why did the portal get created? Jolene, are yeah. you still with us? Yeah. Animal. What? Animal. Is this Jolene? Hey. Jolene, thank you. It's you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's us. We were just wondering. He can't see shit in there, anyways. Learn more about your story and the details of your death. Could you tell us? To Jesus. We just want to. Only he knows. Death. Wow. Wow. Why do you not like talking about your death? It's. Do not block something, I don't know. Jolene was hit breast cancer. No. Business? Business. That sounds Did it have something to do with Park? Don't ask. <sighs> yes it did. That is a yes it did. Stripped away. What was stripped away from you? Life. <gasps> Yo, wait, so stripped away. Was it cancer? Wow. Or was it someone else or something? You know. She thinks we know about her death. Ignore. Jolene, was there foul play in your death? Private. Can you tell us why you keep it private? She's very secret about it, yeah. Jolene? Are we still speaking to Jolene, or are we speaking to- Evil works. This room. This is the one room that's like evil. Dude, we're still not speaking to Jolene right now. Someone else is being channeled right now. Can you tell us a little about the portal? Do you know when it was created? Land. Burial ground. Land and the people. Mm -hmm. So was it- Not sure. The people in the land? Jolene, was it the people in the land that killed you? Secret. Jolene, our main question Darker is, forces do could have had something to do with it. portal came from? How long has it been here? Time. Yeah. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she didn't fall. She was pushed down the stairs, and maybe she was too afraid to talk about it because people might have thought she would have been crazy if she had thought there was, you know, an evil presence in the house. And it kind of makes sense. And she might still think that in the afterlife, like she doesn't want to talk about what could have killed her because people might think it's out there and she might be crazy. Possibly. 
Who knows? I That's kind of where I'm getting. Time. You know how long it's been here, this portal? All. All time. All of time? Forever? Yes! Forever. Confirmed. Okay, so the portal's been here forever. Hill. People. Hill. The pe hill. People. People. people in the hill. Jolene, what killed you? Stop. Oh, oh she does not like that so you, question. Can you at least tell us why you don't want to talk? Mine. Is it just because it's probably it's her secret. Or is there some secret to it? Don't. Yes. Yeah, there's a secret. What killed Park? Can you confirm? We heard that it was heartbreak or lovesickness. Is that true? Something like understand. What did he understand? Love. Us. He understood love. And us. Oh my, dude, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Let's try one last time. Jolene, we're gonna give you your space. We want to respect your privacy, but if you could give us one hint as to what caused your death, or if it was something like foul play, we'll get out of your hair. Can you just confirm that it wasn't just breast cancer? More. There was something more. There was something more than breast cancer. Secret. There is a secret. Yeah, dude, we're just- Some secret. Ooh. Don't, baby. Holy shit. Yo, I think we figured out every single thing we needed to. Something happened in the middle that I think we're talking to something else. You said like evil. Yeah. And I realized that this is the one spot that people say is dangerous. This portal has been here forever. Both you and Nate confirmed that it's never not been there. Park did in fact commit suicide because of heartbreak. What about Jolie? We kept pressing and prodding, trying to get a cause of death. She at one point got stern. She said, stop. But we said, okay, we want to respect that. Yeah. This will be our last question. Was there more to this death? More. More? Yeah. more? She said more. You said, was there more? She said more. More. Holy shit! If she's like a private person in life, of course she's not just gonna tell three random dudes. Don't get caught up in the horrifying details of my death. Just know that my partner understood love. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm drained. Like yeah, after right, that, like that just like made me. It is crazy Holy the fuck. difference of energy between me and you two. Visually and like, I can just tell from like your demeanor. That you was you dark. Thought onto what happened to Jolene and Park. Please. I'll go ahead and say my opinions on the video here check out another true crime murder mystery paranormal location get this to 250 000 okay likes and we'll do it one thing we do know for sure is that the black swan inn is haunted as fuck check out yeah it is to see all of our behind the scenes and stupid stuff we do that's not included in the video exploreclub.com we'll see you guys on the next one adios the season finale is up next okay cool Oh, Faz rugs in it. Faz rug. Okay, so if I had to give my personal opinion about what I think is conspiring or going down in that house, I think something, and this is just an opinion, this could be completely 100% wrong, but the way back then, when you would talk about the spirit, uh, spirits, supernatural, things that can't be explained, people would just think you're crazy. Uh, you could be thrown into psych wards, you could be thrown into asylums because of you spout spouting about something that might not be there physically. So... I wonder if she didn't fall down the stairs, she was pushed by something that was already there on the land before they got there. And maybe he himself knew and believed her, but he knew no one else would believe her. Who knows, there's a lot that could, there, there's a lot there. There's a lot that you could really dig up right there. Um, no pun intended, obviously, but there's a lot here in this story that you might we might not ever, ever know and it's understandable too and i'm glad they respected her wishes by not pushing the boundaries on what she feels is her personal business do you know what, do you know what i mean but there was obviously something more darker there at works even she said you know the agents of darkness evil lurks something who knows who they could have been caught up with they could have been for all we know caught up in some cult shit who, who knows what was going on on that land back then it is very interesting it's very interesting. Comment down below. Let me know your guys' opinions. Of course, if you like this type of content, want to see more content like this, always be sure to hit that like button. It's the easiest way to support us. If you guys want to make sure content like this keeps coming out, head on over to Patreon. Become a patron for the channel. You'll have your name at the end credits at some point in these videos. So if you guys like these types of reactions, then you can be credited as a thank you. Uh, so until next time, guys, keep it retro, and I'll take you guys out in the next video. Take care. Whole... Holy shit, Michael.
We made it to We Slaughter Barbecue. The epitome and the purpose of our trip is to make it to this area. Oh yes. Food and cattle. Yep. I just noticed, is that a cemetery way over there or are those cattle? No, I think that is a small cemetery. Holy shit, that's kind of cool and creepy. That thing is massive, but there's not just that one. There are spiders literally there's everywhere. One there. There's one there. There's one over there. And then, and then there's this one here. Dude, they're everywhere on the properties. Oh, cool. there's one there. 